Hi Sim Racers, let's talk about the brake pedal, the mother of all the pedals. How to configure a brake pedal in order to be always on the edge? If you're driving a car with ABS or without one, the key to a perfect performance in the braking zone is muscle memory. Load cell measures the force you put on the pedal directly, not the travel of the pedal, and that makes a big difference. Especially when you're trail braking, meaning continuously releasing the brake when entering a turn when you've already started steering. That's a method for entering a turn used by the best gym racers and also real racers. For example, entering the rivage turn at Spa, T2 at Hungara Ring or T1 at Laguna. To be fair, the alien brake pedal feels just like a real race car brake. In a street car, a brake booster helps you to increase the force. But braking in a race car is much more physically demanding. And that's fun. Of course, in a real race car, the brake feeling is strongly affected by the temperature of the brakes. You might need almost twice the force for cold brakes. We don't bring this feature to sim racing yet, it's not an easy feat. However, most sim racers don't even want that, because apart from the real-like feeling, they are looking for the ability to drive consistently. And that's where the Alien brake pedal excels. You can drive day and night, pushing hard, upwards of 140 kilograms of force, but if you're not going to warm up the pedal with a torch, the feeling will stay constant. We strongly recommend not using the torch. The only thing you need to do is to set up your brake pedal and its stiffness correctly. How to do that? It's easy. The stiffness is determined by the spring, its preload, which is easily set with the knurled nut and your choice of various polyurethane blocks. Hassle-free. The right combination is strongly a personal preference. With extreme stiffness, the pedal travel is really short reminiscent of small formula-like cars. On the other hand, with the softest setting, we're getting into the street car category again, where the pedal starts to move the moment you lay your foot on it, and the travel is nice and long. Most sim racers will prefer something in between. There are 20 basic variants to choose from. The point is to have the pedal set up in a way that you have to exert a substantial amount of force, just like in a real race car, but not so much that fatigue and exhaustion become a problem. That leads to a lot of mistakes, especially not pressing the pedal all the way, which then leads to longer braking distance and unwanted dive bombs. Last but not least, do not underestimate the importance of mounting your pedal to the base plate correctly. The forces are big and you don't want to deal with the shifted pedal during a race. Thank you for your support, keep your alien steady pace and see you on the track.